ओम ज्ञान तमिरंधश्य ज्ञानंजन श्लाकया चक्षुरन्मल तमीन तस्माय श्री गुरुवे नमः Honorable dignitaries, Dr. David Frale, Dr. Uma Maheshwar Rao, Dr. Sushila, and dear friends, it's an honor to be with you all this evening. The topic selected is quite relevant because the human civilization is entering a decisive phase in 21st century. Uh, in this century, the nations are not at war, the civilizations are at war, and it's quite the fate, the future does not look very bright, and that is where the Hinduism, the, the religion of India can step right in. The religion is defined in Srimad Bhagavatam as Dharmastu Sakshat Bhagavat Pranitam. Religion is what the Supreme Lord gives the code of conduct, the law to govern this world that is known as religion. Now religion just like law has to be given by God, just like law we cannot manufacture at our own home, similarly religion cannot be manufactured. Hinduism is better known as Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana means timeless or eternal. It has no beginning, it has no end. That which has got a beginning has got an end. In present day situation, in this century of advanced science and technology, the predominant religions of the world are finding it hard to give us the answers. We all know that these religions, the prominent religions of today, were actually targeted to an audience not very enlightened, basically to the nomads and to the tribal members. Just like a subject we take up mathematics or subject of physics or chemistry, there need not be just one book on that. Similarly, God is a very vast subject. There cannot be just one book. In Hinduism, we have actually millions of books on the subject of God. So these, the other predominant religion of the time today cannot answer. They, they are unable to satisfy the craving of human society today. And the result is, we, seeing a, we are seeing a growth of what is called as fanaticism. There are two things, sentimentalism, uh, philosophy and religion. Religion without philosophy is sentimentalism and fanaticism. So that's where the Hinduism can come to rescue. And religion is a must. When we talk of human beings, there comes the concept of religion. There is no difference between animals and human beings as far as the basic activities of the body goes. Ahara nidra bhaya maitanam samanyam etat pashubhi naranam. We eat, they eat, we sleep, they sleep, we have family life, they have families, and we have defense, they have defense. But the difference is religion. So uh, a human being without religion is a two legged animal. That is why we never hear the concept that he is a Hindu monkey, he is a Christian donkey. No. The religion is for human beings. But today, today's the concept of religion has, has gone on a different way. And uh, that's where the, we have a great responsibility on our shoulders. I mean, the, India has to show the way. 
Hinduism today is facing challenges, I would say internally and externally. And both are equally, um, gray, uh, equally dangerous challenges. Sometimes what happens is, there are external challenges, just like our body immune system, bodily immune system, the system is attacked from outside when this, uh, it becomes uh, weak. So, while countering the challenges, the outside challenges, we also have to work on our inner strengths. A religion has to have very clear definitions of what, what is God. Basically, a religion is, is the way to show who God is, how to love that God, and how to serve God. So we have to have our, the basics mm, very, very clear. And as um, Dr. Uma Maheshwar Rao rightly pointed out, we have the ratio of between elders and youngers here. And he would he rightly wanted it to be uh, wanted to see it reversed. So yes, the if we cannot rope in the younger generation into the uh, then we become irrelevant. We stand the danger of becoming irrelevant if we cannot uh, recruit our new generation. So that should not happen. Just like there are theological colleges. In every religion, they have their seminaries. We got to have, the Hinduism should also have, of course we have, but not many are opting out for these uh, degrees and courses on Bhagavad Gita, on Vedic, uh, Vedic other literatures. Our founder, Srila Prabhupada, went to America with 40 rupees, and he always used to mention, he went in a ship, all the way to America, and he founded this uh, worldwide movement. He used to mention that I am alone propagating the Sanatana Dharma. If India would have supported me, the whole world would, uh, would have followed. So the truth lies in here. Truth lies with us. We have the, we have the solutions. Today the word the world, whole world is suffering because we have failed to guide them. We have failed in our duty. There have been systematic plan how to destroy our basics and we have become victims and we continue to become victims. So there is, uh, this century is going to be the making or the breaking point for humanity. And we have to act before the time runs out. Thank you.